Hi, this is Daniel Scribner here with a quick preview of the next episode of our Outlier Investor Series, which comes out tomorrow. In it, I'm joined by Ben Blumenrose, co-director and managing partner of Designer Fund, which is an early stage venture capital firm that backs founders that both recognize the power of design and are committed to getting design right in their company from day one. Designer Fund was founded by Ben Blumenrose and Enrique Allen in 2012 after the two met at a program put on by Stanford's D-School, where students use design to develop their own creative potential. When Ben and Enrique founded Designer Fund, there were few companies in Silicon Valley outside of Apple that understood the power of design to build incredible products, create a category-defining brand, and ultimately forge an enduring company. There were also no other venture capitalists with a pure design background. And yet, over the last decade, Designer Fund has built an incredible venture firm. They've produced top quartile returns for their investors, beating out most of their peers, and were early investors in a wave of design-centric companies that have defined the last decade, including Stripe and Gusto. In tomorrow's episode, you'll learn why design is essential to creating great products that delight customers, products that don't just check a box, but that set a new standard and aim to improve some aspect of their customers' lives. The role that design plays in developing, sharing, and executing a shared vision, including why designer founders are some of the world's best storytellers. How companies like Airbnb have made design a strategic focus and given design a seat at the table when it comes to making decisions at the highest levels. We talk about what separates the companies that get design right from those that get it wrong. And we break down designer funds investment process and decode the algorithm they use to make investment decisions, including how designer fund has redesigned the venture process and created a rigid process to help them make the highest quality decisions and so much more. This is an incredible conversation you won't want to miss. Here's one of my favorite moments from it. Tune in tomorrow to listen to the full episode. If you were to think about how Designer Fund makes investment decisions as an algorithm, let's call it the Designer Fund algorithm, what does that look like and what's your general process and approach to making investment decisions? Yeah, so we we actually, uh, uh, you know, I talked to you about designing venture. And so one of the things that we noticed is that a lot lot of, there are investors that shoot from the head, they just like, they meet a founder, they get a gut reaction and they just invest that way. and so we're not that way. I think we really want to systematize and productize our investment process. So we actually have a, a kind of a template of what are the things that we ask companies? What do we want to see? Um, and making sure that companies, uh, you know, meet the bar in all the different things. You know, what's the product? Are these going to, are they going to build the best in class product? Is there something around go to market here that do we have any signals around traction? So. We probably have um, an approach that is similar to a lot of other funds. The different, I, th- I think, the two differences. One is that we try to apply a very um, structured process to everything that we do to make sure that we can go back and say, why did we make that decision, and was it the right or wrong decision? Not just like, well, I met that person; they seemed fine at the time. Um, so, good process. Good. You know, we want to see good process, good outcomes. And then I think the, the, the other layer that the lens that we add that most firms don't add is probably this design layer, which is, is design going to have a meaningful impact on the outcome of this company? And there are, there are certain companies, whether it's like a science project, right? It's like, hey, we're trying to like, uh, let's you know, lab grown meat, right? It's like, um, you know, I don't know that this, if, if you can't get this burger to be less than hundred, $100 a burger, um, there's very little design I can apply to this company to make that work, right? And so certain things like that, where there's a fundamental science thing, like design is, it can have some impact, but I, I think it's very tough for us to say that design is going to be uh, instrumental in the success of the company. So we want to see design be able to play a, a role in the success of the company. And then the other filter we have is impact, which is like, does this a company actually move the world in the direction that we want to see. So there are companies like that we see that, you know, I remember back in the day, I saw a company that was like LCD screen ads on top of cars and they're geolocated. So it's like, hey, if you're in Soma, you'll see an ad for a restaurant in Soma. Sounds really neat and like probably can make money, but it's like people are already distracted enough as it is. And so do we (laughs) want like moving lit billboards on top of cards? I certainly don't. The society, like, I don't think we need that. I don't think we want that. And I think ultimately, like, it might be pretty negative, you know, it might negatively impact 
And so for us, we actually also add a filter of like, is this actually moving the world in the direction that we want to see the world move? Because, and, and I, you know, we, we do it just from a self intrinsic, like we want to have the impact we want, but we all, there's also a greedy reason to do that, which is employees are going to ask that question too. The best people are going to ask like, is this company doing good in the world? And if not, like, why would I work there? And we see this all the time. Like when I go to designers and I say, what, what spaces do you want to work in? You know, 99 out of 100 will say if there's something in climate right now, they, they're, they're down to work on that. It's a really exciting area. Oh. And re- yeah, right. It's like it's what's needed and it's going to move the world in a positive direction. If you tell them uh, how many of you want to work in like marketing tech, you know, mark tech and like, you know, one out of yeah, it's, it's zero out of 100, <laughs> one out of 100. It's really fucking hard to hire if you're building like a new way to do ads, you know, whatever, ad algorithm, because a lot of designers just that that's not the thing that gets them up at up uh, in, in, the, in the morning. And so to us, I just think like we, we're going to, we want to have the impact, the positive impact. And I think that that's going to yield a, a better performing fund long-term. <laughs>